Shalom. I'm making this video to honor Baba Ram Das, Richard Alpert, who meant so much to me in my life. The name Ram Das was given to him by his guru, and Ram Das means servant of the divine. In Hebrew, we also have a term for that. Eved Hashem means servant of the divine. But the, the words Ram Das, which are Indian words, uh, also mean something in Hebrew as well, which I think is really appropriate. So the word Ram means exalted or high or transcendent. <clears throat> and uh, interestingly, in this time of Hanukkah, there is a practice of reciting a collection of psalms called Hallel. And in the very first psalm in Hallel, which is Psalm 113, it says, Ram al kol goyim Hashem. It means that the divine is Ram, or elevated beyond, exalted above, kol goyim, all nations. And I thought this was really appropriate because um, I learned from some of my reading about Ram Das that part of his, his hesitancy about being involved with Judaism too much as, as his spiritual path had to do with the ethnocentric um, qualities that he encountered in Judaism, the um, aspect of Judaism that tends to be a bit uh, tribal, a bit nationalistic, this kind of thing. And so uh, how appropriate that in this verse that's recited today and uh, throughout Hanukkah, that it says that the divine is Ram al kol goyim, that it's really beyond nationality, that spirituality is something uh, far greater than um, tribalism or nationality. At least that, that's how I like to translate that verse. And the second part of the name Das is also the Ashkenazic pronunciation for the word Da'at, the Hebrew word Da'at, which means knowledge. But it's not just an intellectual knowledge, it's a knowledge of intimate connection. So, um, for example, in, in Genesis, when it says Adam knew his wife Eve, and the, the knowing, of course, is uh, an expression that connotes sexual intimacy. It's the same word, da'at, means knowledge. And there's a verse that comes from the Elenu prayer, which is taken from Torah. It's Deuteronomy uh, 4.39, that says, V'yadata hayom, it's the same word, dat or das, V'yadata hayom, you shall know today, you shall know today. So, if we understand dat as being intimate connection, and we understand hayom today as meaning right now, today means now, this moment, then data hayom, v'yadata hayom, really means to become present. It means be here now, which was, of course, Ram Dass's, uh, most famous book. And then it says in the same verse, Hashivota el to return to your heart. And um, return to your heart. I just want to tell the story that uh, I saw Ram Dass once. It was the only time I saw him in person. I went to go and hear him uh, speak uh, and, and do an event. I think he was doing poetry with a musician, some musician, I can't remember who, uh, at Spirit Rock in, in California. And afterward, I went to talk to him, and I stood in line, and I said a few words to him, and he just beamed at me and smiled, and he just said, you're so beautiful. <laughs> and that was it, and I just smiled, and I think we hugged, and, and that was it. But such a um, beautiful, radiant person. So, and such a heart-centered person. So, Hashivota Elavavecha, return to your heart. Ki Hashem Huha Elohim, that the, that, it, that beingness or existence itself is the divine in the heavens and above and the earth below. Ain od, there is nothing else. So that's the, the Hebrew version of Ramdas. Another little story, my first 
a real conscious encounter with Ramdas that I remember, because I know that that book "Be Here Now" was was in my consciousness. I don't remember when I first uh, found it, but it, it's it's always been there somehow. I must have seen it when I was very little. But the first time I really remember connecting with Ramdas was a time when I was in high school and I took a bus ride to visit a cousin of mine. And it was a long bus ride into upstate New York. And I had a Walkman with a, a cassette tape of Ramdas that was given to me by Elise Tresenfeld, who was a therapist that worked at my father's uh, medical clinic. And she thought I would like it, so she gave it to me. And I remember putting on my headphones and sitting in the bus it, it was Ram Dass speaking before a lot of people, some, some big audience. And <clears throat> you could hear he came out onto stage and you could hear in the microphone that he was sitting down and getting ready to talk. And then he said, time and then he just paused and didn't say anything else. And people started laughing in the audience and then more people started laughing and then before you knew it there was just roaring laughter in the audience because he had just with that one word time he had brought people's attention to the passing of time and to the space of the present moment which is timeless and um, and all this joy and laughter just erupted and um, I think that that moment there on the bus for me was really my first conscious experience of presence. So I want to sing a little uh, chant, a new chant that I wrote which comes from Psalm number two and it comes from a verse that says, Asapra el chok, I am obligated to proclaim Hashem Amar Eli, the divine says to me, Bani Ata, you are my child, Ani Hayom Yilid Ticha. Today I give birth to you. Or we might understand it, right now you are being birthed or breathed into existence by the divine. And it's just taking those two words from that verse. Ani Hayom, I today. In other words, I am, I am present, or be here now. Ani Hayom, Ani you.